The gaming biggest tragedy. The rise and fall of Diablo 4. That's what uh, someone wanted to watch me, huh? What wanted me to watch? Jesus, dude. What is wrong with me? On June? <laughs> I can't even say it right. D4 bad! Chad, do you still play Diablo 4? Of course not. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? Who am I going to play D4 with? Dude, I can't even imagine playing that game, man. I got to level 82 and I got so bored I couldn't handle it. I was like, I can't even stream this. It was just boring. My phone can't run it. Wait, what? Are you playing Diablo Immortal? No, we're talking about Diablo 4. You are not a real D4 gamer then? Yeah, and you're not a real Siege player, bitch. I was like over 100 here for the base game. Yep, yeah, because of Australian dollars or whatever. I enjoyed grinding with my homies, but with season one changes, they destroy every motivation we had to play the game. Well, they didn't add anything. Low blow a lot of... Yeah, you call me a little Diablo 4 hater? No way. I don't think anyone I know plays Diablo 4, I'm going to be honest. They didn't add anything. They nerfed every class by 30% reduced XP game. Dude. Australian pounds. It's not Australian pounds, it's Australian dollars. <laughs> I don't think Australian pounds was ever a thing, man. I play a WoW Classic now, I guess I'm hurting myself even more now. Yeah, but at least you're having fun. Australian kilograms? Australian dollar dues! Yeah! Let's check the categories. Oh. Let's check. Do the dance. Where is it? Where is it? Dude, where is it? Where's Diablo? Oh my god! There's more people playing Pokemon Crystal than Diablo! Hello, Golden Angel. Hello, how are you doing? Hots is higher? Holy, that's powerful, man. How? Oh, who's playing it? Oh my god, no one's playing it. That's brutal, man. Dude, D3 is higher? No. Oh my god, Diablo is higher. 861 as opposed to 700. That's insane, man. Left 4 Dead 2 is higher. RimWorld is higher. ESO is higher. Pokemon trading card. Hot is literally double of viewership. Diablo 2 isn't far behind either. Let's see, Diablo 2. Well, Diablo 2, nobody's playing it because it's, it's nothing interesting is going on. I don't think there's a new season either. But Diablo 2 by itself. It's its own category. If you count Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Resurrected, then it's actually higher. The real Diablo 2? But I like Resurrected. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I like Resurrected, man! Raid Shadow Legends is higher. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. There's one guy streaming to a thousand people. That's insane. Yeah, Resurrected was good. I wouldn't say Diablo 2, like, oh, it's, it's the real one. It's like, I actually like Diablo 2 Resurrected. D2 are the only untainted game for Blizzard in the last seven, 10 years. Yeah, I would say so. It's actually kind of fun. Even though it's quote unquote old. <laughs> I'm more impressed that games like Animal Crossing, Pokemon Emerald, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim Elder Scrolls is higher viewership than Diablo. A fucking 
ten year old game <laughs> has more viewership. Oh my god, man. That is so reamed out, man. Super Mario World has more views. South Park has more what the fuck? Who the fuck plays South Park? Ah, whatever. Super Mario World. Okay. It's time, it's time. Okay. Gaming's biggest tragedy. The rise and fall of Diablo 4. On June 6th of 2023, Diablo 4 officially launched, and it was oh an boy. instant home run success. What? Twitch was booming, the concurrent player base peaked at almost 7 million players, long queue times, and select- I didn't- uh, That was a bad pause, um, but I didn't have any queue times, did you guys? I don't remember this, but also, nice pause, Alana, you're welcome, chat. <laughs> I didn't mean to pause it right there. <laughs> Good pause, thank you, Alana. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Seven million is not that much. Planet, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> you are such a contrarian. Seven million for a launch is a lot of people playing a game, man. Celebrities partook in the you ride. You are fried. Everybody thought this was the game they were going to call Oh, shit, there was dancing too? Now, there are as little as 400 people watching Diablo 4 on Twitch. Players are forced to complete world bosses and events completely on their own. What? He has to play by himself? Own, and player population dropped by over 99%. The economy That's between internal and seasonal realms have been destroyed by rampant bugs. Season Yikes. 1 content was an absolute disaster, and Season 2 looks to be the exact same. How Didn't they disable trading because of some exploit some guy did, dude? I'm the guy that I didn't buy that shit. Yeah, I played it for the hype train, but... Mm. Duped gold? Yeah. Do they actually have dupe packs? Yeah, they did. I'm pretty sure. That's why they disabled trading because people kept trading shit. Yeah. I like how they have basic quality of life features as highlights for the new season. Dude, they don't have any end game. That's the fucking issue. It's like, ah, grind more shit. Yay. How did this happen? Who asked? Where did this once beloved franchise go wrong? And what will it take Aww, to fix it? Today, I'm going to explore the timeline of Diablo 4 from pre-release to what the game is now. Grab a cup of coffee and settle in a because coffee. this is the complete coffee. timeline of how Diablo 4 became the biggest Fell disappointment from grace. in gaming history. Of course, I want to give a big thank you to the YouTube subscription members who keep this dream alive by directly the supporting the channel. We truly couldn't do it without you, and we'll talk a little bit more about this later. Now, ever since the late 90s, Blizzard Entertainment has been a staple Sad in the man. gaming world making some of the most popular and beloved gaming franchises of all time. The Warcraft trilogy, Starcraft, Diablo, Hearthstone, Overwatch, and their most popular, The World of Warcraft. The Diablo franchise in particular was a real heavy hitter. It embodied the true heart and soul of what the company stood for at the time. An incredible RPG gaming experience that is a mix of fantasy God, and dark so gothic good. horror that many people across like the world game, just man. couldn't put down. Diablo 2 released in the year 2000 and had a profound impact on the gaming world. God, I remember when my brother came with the battle box, the battle chest, that was what it was called. He came home with the battle chest for the Diablo 2 resurrect, uh, not resurrected, um, uh, holy shit, I'm having a memory hole. Uh, Diablo 2... The, the expansion, dude. Holy shit. I've played this game for so long. I'm... Lord of Destruction. Oh my god. Thank you for the acronym. Oh my god. I had a brain fart. <laughs> Keep saying Resurrection. <laughs> yes. He came home with a battle chest. Oh my god. It was like the most amazing moment I had as a little fucking toddler. Well, not toddler, but I was like a little fucking kid. I was like, oh my god. It was so good. I remember looking at his screen in awe and it was him launching his massive fucking, what is it called? His stupid monitor, his CRT monitor and launching the game and seeing this. And I was like, oh, this can be in a video game. He was like, yeah, I 
remember staring at the game for hours. He didn't let me play at all, but I stared at it. It was great. And revolutionized the ARPG genre. So beautiful. The social aspect alone fostered a sense of community. He saved up so much money to like play it. Paving the way for future online multiplayer games. Yeah. And if you didn't want to play online, you didn't, didn't have, have to. Didn't have to. The game yeah, our internet was so shit we couldn't play on it. Basically, a permanent mark on the gaming world by introducing multiplayer features, innovative gameplay mechanics, expansion packs, and DLCs. And the cinematics that too. Titles that this is obviously the remastered, but still, order. back then the cinematics this were still game amazing. This remains relevant even two decades after its on initial release. On a nihilist charm, leaving our people room. to this day. <gasps> she by the knew! time Diablo 3 went into production, a whole new development team was in place. And in many eyes, this time period was the beginning of the end for uh, Blizzard Entertainment. I remember my first rune was a Zod, and then I tried to trade it. L like, I, I years and years later, I tried to trade a Zod, and nobody wanted it because it was the first fucking Zod I- uh, The first rune that I ever saw drop that was a rare, and it wasn't even a good rune. It was a Zod. <laughs> Remember With the game finally oh launching God, on yes. May 15th, 2012, the infamous ah! Error 37 plagued the internet, ah! leaving countless players in limbo on launch day. Well, this is your message to the people who work for Blizzard. Stay <laughs> 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 This is bullshit! This is bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> I need money, cash money, dollars, <laughs> <laughs> The auction house doing more harm than good gave you the opportunity <laughs> as a player to spend hundreds of dollars <laughs> of your hard-earned real-life money on items in the game. I made $200 on that. <laughs> on that. And this benefited Blizzard greatly because they took a $1 cut on every successful auction. And with the game's insane levels of progressive difficulty, it meant that if you wanted to progress in the game effectively, the perfect gear was just in wallets reach yep. for nearly two years until it was finally removed. It, was it a took good many time. years of innovation to bring Diablo 3 to where it is today. DLCs, seasons being implemented, greater rifts, and non-stop updates for nearly 10 years. Yeah. A game with a disastrous launch and some fundamental problems with its core design was, has grown into okay. one of Blizzard's it most long-lasting and beloved games. It wasn't terrible, but it was okay. It wasn't great, but it was, uh, it was, it was alright. As much as Diablo 4. Now, with three games in the franchise under its belt, Blizzard was looking to announce Diablo 4 at BlizzCon. Oh. With the horrific Diablo Immortal announcement at BlizzCon Yay, 2018. Do you guys with not our have Android phones? and iOS, uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Boo! I remember booing at my screen. Was that cringe? I, I thought it was cringe that I booed at my PC, but I was so mad. I was like, boo! Boo! Get off the stage! <laughs> Yeah, you guys, Do you guys have, have, have phones? phones? Trying to build excitement for yet another Blizzard <laughs> game is something that seems company. very grim they, they really in the world. <laughs> the once King of Kings in game development has Aww. fallen very far from what they once were. Yeah. They're hoping their heavy hitter franchise like Diablo can once again spark life into the cold, bitter shell Blizzard is today. It all started with a grand announcement at BlizzCon, building hype and excitement amongst the fans. What was that quote by Asmon? Every protest or disagreement the player base has is one three minute cinematic away from being forgotten. I'm paraphrasing, but like, <laughs> like it's so true, man. <laughs> Every gamer protest is a three minute cinematic away from being over. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so good. <laughs> The Diablo 4 announcement trailer left fans it was badass. and happy to see Blizzard cinematic was really to cool. Just like League, yeah. Roots of Diablo 2. Once the announcement trailer dropped, Blizzard was officially on the Dude, board. it was a fucking cool cinematic too. And the music, and it was actually scary. I was like, oh fuck, man. Block Let's go. The and then disaster struck. Yep. More than 1,500 Activision Blizzard employees are calling for the resignation. <laughs> God, man. God, man. <laughs> Why don't we just get rid of Bobby and, uh, you know... <laughs> Bobby needs another yacht! 
We're just living in Mobby's world. That's right. CEO. Is this the titty milk oh, guy? Cool. No, this isn't the titty milk guy. This is the boss, the big head honcho. When did this happen? 2021. This is right there. Tech. That Coda had known about things, and he also had threatened to have uh, an assistant. Friend to have his former assistant killed. Yeah, he got so mad. Killed at one point. The company began mm -hmm. to truly unravel midway through the development in 2021 mm -hmm. with a major lawsuit against Activision Blizzard. This is what I was talking about. California sued them and did an internal investigation on their own terms. They didn't use, quote unquote, Blizzard's uh, own people to investigate this because of what happened with that big motor video that we were talking about being filed for a near two year running investigation into mm -hmm. the company from the state of california between they the sexual it, allegations the unfair and unethical treatment toward women in the workplace and more dark evil secrets being surfaced hundreds of employees at blizzard walk out to protest against this frat boy culture and even more quit or step down from the company leaving everything uh -huh. in disarray and diablo 4 was no exception to this the ongoing sexual harassment lawsuit took a major toll on Blizzard, and the company bled high-quality developers yep, and talent rapidly. Rhyme. In Blizzard's earning report for investors, they clearly stated that it has become apparent that some of the Blizzard content planned for the next year will benefit from more development time to reach its full potential. But did we do that? Hell no! Hell no. They also said they need extra time to complete production and continue no. growing their creative resources to Absolutely support the titles not. after launch. Though not stated explicitly, the wording in the report implies that neither Overwatch 2 or Diablo 4 will launch before 2023. And look what they did with uh, with Overwatch. They released it early and look at that. Oh, they had to cut down on the PvE. Wasn't that something, chat? You wanted your PvE? You wanted Overwatch 2 with the PvE that we promised? Too bad, bitch. Three. Too bad! So with no other option, Diablo 4 was officially delayed. For a while during this time, the Blizzard did what they do best. Feed and prey off the nostalgia of previous games from their fans. The nostalgia oh, yeah. of the great times this company like a vampire. And went down the line and re-released titles of all their beloved games. Classic! Classic. <coughs> World of Warcraft, which I mean, led to what is now classic, the release of the Wrath of the Lich King. Warcraft oh, Reforged, Rathias. which was a convoluted disaster. <laughs> and finally, Diablo 2 Resurrected. They knew- Diablo <laughs> 2 was good! Well, I'll give them that. It wasn't bad. It was, it was a good launch, and it was a good game. But it still is, so I would say it's pretty much a success, and that's the only thing. But it was made by someone else. It was made by an outside studio, if I remember correctly. Watch the video on how bad Reforged was a few weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. We know how bad it is. Knew that by releasing these games, I was really scared they would shit up. Dollars, Diablo. Give them more time really to try scared. and develop something new that the fans would come to love once again. Oh, but boy. time and time after, they fail to follow through with that promise and always come up short. With the new day and age of Blizzard's monetization, where they squeeze everything they can take, it finally <laughs> took its toll. Classic era of World of Warcraft having. Yep, having portal pass. By the way, I was so against this, and they still did it, and there was still so much cope amongst people saying like, Oh, it's just a dark portal pass. It's just a boost. It's just a mount. It's just this. And I'm like, you know, they're going to put in the token next, and then boom. Token. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Expansion pack passes, mm -hmm. character boosts, and now a new yeah, wild token boost in classic, yo. Where you can literally sure buy can. gold with real-life money. Overwatch 2 being a copy of Overwatch 1 with egregious monetization and broken promises. $75! Wait, wait, $75 and then there's a virtual discount, so it's uh $44. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. At least I don't have a shop in hardcore for now. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, you want to start hardcore at level 40? Oh, you want to have a resurrection? You want a second chance? Cough off those five dollar dues, dude. Dude, forty-four dollars for this fucking shit, by the way. And then doing a discount, a fake discount off of it. Holy. Forty-four dollars for a skin. I can't, man. I can't handle it. Story that never came to light. Warcraft Reforged being a reskin with even more broken promises. It wasn't even a reskin. It was like a worse reskin because the models and everything else looked like dog shit and the game was broken. 
this at this point in time, it seems as if the company continues to make the wrong decisions like millions based of on bugs greed in there. and simply takes advantage of its player base across every game they've ever developed. We had no choice. The only thing we can do now is hope that Diablo 4 doesn't follow this sad <laughs> down pattern. <laughs> and for joke. many others, including myself, this would be Blizzard's last chance at repairing what is a betrayed- Diablo 4 is my last game. I've played Blizzard games for most of my life. I used to TP friends into big walls of fire in Diablo 1, main to Soul and Corlock and Vanilla. I love StarCraft. I can't do this anymore. And Diablo 4 is my last game. What used to be a magical company. So stop holding out hope. This guy's based. Based. Who founded Blizzard? Based. All the principles that Blizzard was founded on are dead. They've been Not desecrated. literally. Let Blizzard go. That's my main message. Is Not literally let Blizzard though. Go. Appreciate what was created back when it was done. Stop holding out hope that it's gonna come back because it's. It's dead, man. So sad. Hope. Hope oh. is all Hopium. that remains. Hopium. Chat, we need hope. In August of 2022, Blizzard announced their Diablo 4 Alpha playtest, running for friends and family of Blizzard employees. So Jason sad. Schreer, a Bloomberg reporter, states on Twitter, A bunch of people are playing an early build of Diablo 4 right now, thanks to a friends and family alpha test. Okay. These players are under NDA, but I'm hearing mostly positive buzz. Shreer also noted that there are no microtransactions in the alpha build. <laughs> Little do they know! <laughs> Diablo 4 purchases will be only cosmetic only aside from larger expansions. That's right, chat. So players mm -hmm. won't have much of an idea what to expect Ohio, from Haruna, Ohio. Although Blizzard has previously confirmed that small Diablo 4 purchases will be cosmetic only, aside from larger story expansions. Months later, the Diablo 4 endgame beta invites go out in October of 2022, and the playtest officially begins. The playtest itself gave lucky testers a chance to go up against Lilith in the post-campaign sanctuary and test out Diablo 4's endgame. And in the alpha, Lilith was still terribly designed and is terribly boring and was the only fucking endgame they had, basically. Yeah. Modes and instances. This included the Whispers of the Dead system, the progressively challenging Nightmare Dungeons, region-wide Helltides, the Fields of Hatred PvP, and the Absolutely Paragon Board irrelevant. progression system. Boring. This was the only mm -hmm. endgame test they hosted before launch, with enough yep. time to make changes. And this is going to be important and a big conversation topic later. A couple months after that, a massive article comes out on the Washington Post oh, stating God. that Diablo 4 developers are working overtime to meet the release deadline. Of course they are, because they got absolutely owned by that lawsuit, and then everything else fell behind, so now they're behind schedule, and now Bobby's whipping him with a fucking whip and telling him, get back to work. Get back to work. I need my money. My money. And it also includes their own staff, stating there is mismanagement and disturbing script changes that might contribute to delays. It's a process that's been plagued by mismanagement and employees being promised perks for working Get late evenings work. and weekends outside of regular work hours. So but sad. employees stating they were simply negligible perks, such as a $25... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where I live, it costs $30 to DoorDash, like a $16 meal if you don't have a pass, by the way. <laughs> a fucking $25 gift card! Oh my god! Thank you! Get half a meal exactly, dude! DoorDash credit if they worked more than 10 hours a day. What? They described a mounting sense of dissatisfaction and malice amongst employees as uh, it's malaise, but okay. I think it's malaise, not malice. Malice is and that different. that the Diablo team has been losing talent for over a year as employees look for more competitive Yikers, wages dude. and better work conditions Yikey elsewhere. Wikies. Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick attributed the company's stock Stop price Bobster. drop to the game delay of Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. But not the lawsuits. Can you guys see this? One, can you see this? It's not the lawsuits, you guys. Oh, it is not 
not the lawsuits. Do not look at them, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is not the lawsuits that you are looking for here. That's not why they dropped. That's not why they dropped. It's not. No, it's not because of that. Yes, don't look over here. It's so... I can't believe the audacity of some people. Oh my god, man. It's not because of the lawsuits. <laughs> Rather than the ongoing no, sexual they don't harassment care at all. lawsuit no, they filed don't. against the company in July of 2021, he quotes, mm. I think what affected the stock price more than the sexual harassment investigation is pushing out the release dates of Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4. His mm -hmm. comments frustrated some of the company's developers who felt he was blaming them unfairly, stating, We felt very much like he just drove the bus over on top of us. As said the former Diablo IV team lead. No fucking way, man. A former male Diablo team lead said that on record to a game journalism or like a journalist. That's fucking insane. I didn't even know that. I didn't know they came see, forward with that stuff. The relationship and chemistry within the company seems to begin crumbling. A person familiar with senior leadership found the performance shares unnecessary and even destructive, arguing that they incentivize leadership to cut corners, compromise, and ship products that are not ready to be released instead oh, look of at doing that. what, what a is surprise. the best thing for the long-term value creation. Employees state they just went to work every day and got angry. And that fades into the anger of the... <gasps> Dude, it's like a cycle, man. Game dev match. Person match making game. And then I play game and get mad and shit on them. Cycle repeats. Bobby gets money. Bobby buys a yacht. I get mad. <gasps> Dude. What the Either fuck? Either because the tools were slow, what or the they simply frick? did not like the game that much. They also stated yeah! that it wasn't just employees that left. It was many with institutional knowledge and decades of experience. Yep. Leaving brand new employees. That guy was a founder, by the way. He was a Blizzard These founder. Developers brought in from Not elsewhere one, the other one. to fill in. Diablo 4's Morgan. unannounced internal release date so. went from 2021 to December of 2022, then got pushed back further to April 2023, and then finally June of 20. Should have let it cook for another year. That's what they should have done. <laughs> A former Honestly? employee stated, we're at the point where they're not willing to delay the game anymore. I so believe this completely because it's a half-baked game, man. We all just have to go along and figure out how much we're willing to hurt ourselves to make sure the game gets released in a good enough state. Good enough, my ass. To help Diablo 4 get over the finish line, Activision Blizzard enlisted industry veterans such as Rod Ferguson. Rod would hold weekly Zoom meetings known as Rodcasts, which during them he would talk about celebrities he's met and movies he enjoys. Employees felt that not much actually came out of these discussions. Are you kidding me? Are you? Is that serious? Rod Ferguson. Zoom meetings, Diablo 4. Dubbed broadcast. That's like me meeting with like a, I don't know, like a, like a VTuber or a Twitch manager for my thing. And then, and then them just talking about how they've talked to like Silver Veil and not actually giving me any advice or like talking about movies they like. Dude. And stating, to me, he came off as a bit of a clout chaser about where he came from, like Gears of War. Yeah, and then Gears of War, look at what happened to Gears of War. Hello, no Ben. We Hello. all thought he was going to come in and fix the game. And when nothing happened, that's when you started to see this massive turnover. The Blizzard yep. Entertainment Company that was once so dedicated to quality and putting out the best product they possibly can. Dedicated to creating the most epic entertainment experiences ever. Oh my god. This just makes me angry. And 
is currently rushing out Diablo 4 in a good enough state, with employees and team members who don't get along, and leaders who are poor at taking care of their team members. All of this inside of an environment that is- Yeah, Gears of War should have been the last one. Gears of War 5 wasn't even that good. I don't know why you, why you guys are talking. <laughs> ...polluted with greed and numbers more My than My brother anything. played Gears of with War a lot. With launch just a few months away, Diablo 4 is looking grim. On February 21st, the developers officially released the Inside the World of Sanctuary video where they- I was not impressed by this, by the way. All my friends were so hyped for it, and I just looked at it, and I glazed- my eyes glazed over. I'm not even capping. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. I- I remember distinctly the World of Sanctuary, and I was like, dude, this- this game looks so gray and washed out. Like, huh? we had many huh? developers speak upon the art direction, environment, monsters, gameplay innovation- <laughs> I mean, this was kind of cool. Like, this whole environment with the cave and stuff. And I meant the building. overworld. Hold on. They made promises and stated they wanted to bring the game back towards this Diablo bland to me. We wanted to bring Diablo 4 artistically more back towards, like, Diablo 2. Oh! Then... Oh, this is the lady! This is the lady we, we looked at that was playing the game, and then it looked like she wasn't even playing the game. Do you guys remember this? I made a video about it. It's on YouTube. Yeah, the game. No, she's not the gameplay. She's a senior dungeon designer. She's a dungeon designer, and they forced her to play the game. <laughs> I recall. <laughs> I felt so bad for them too. By the way, I felt bad for them genuinely. Much darker style, and they also emphasize non-repetitive game. Non-repetitive gameplay. Yeah, like sure. Whatever. So you never feel like. <laughs> You're always doing the same thing. The pacing is always a little bit different. On March 1st, they released a video showing the gameplay trailer for the beta early access Ultimate of edition. Diablo 4. You should know that how to play the game. Play the I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. The, f the reason I pity her and I feel bad for her is because of the shit that came their way. They, she should know how to play the game, but she doesn't, and then she still is hired at the company. I, I just feel like, as a person who was, like, into art, she was art design, it doesn't fucking matter. It does not fucking matter. Do you want to know why? Because me, as a gamer, aesthetically should be able to distinct different monsters, uh, make the distinction between different monsters and different environments without getting bored. Your brain gets bored when you click through these same... Uh, environments in the dungeon. I also didn't like how much the dungeon spread out across uh, Diablo 4 inside of the dungeons and I had to backtrack a lot. You can cry and say, oh my god, Diablo 2 is just like that. Yes, and it fucking sucked and I hated it and I don't know why they still do this shit. Why is there no teleport? Why is there no feature like that? It's just to waste your time. That's the game design's job. I just explained it i'll explain it again dungeon design and the monsters blending with each other and the particle effects that is her job that is her fucking job she is the senior game designer if i'm not mistaken she's the senior game designer right senior dungeon designer so she designs the dungeon and is in the artistic department Yeah. It's also interconnected web of design elements. I agree, and she is the senior. Unless there's some sort of head honcho senior manager designer, I feel like it's also a problem with how many employees you have at Blizzard in Diablo 4. I think they reached like 900 people at one point. If I, if I remember correctly, there's 900 people that worked on Diablo. 900 people! 1800 hands passed through to make the game so making any changes possible was probably really hard it was 9000 no i think it was 900 you can look it up i'm 9000 am i misremembering no you i was actually wrong Oh my fucking lord, I was wrong! I thought it was 900 people! <laughs> oh my god! That was even worse than I thought! Oh my god! Oh, that was even worse than I thought! Now I understand! <laughs> Let me dial it back 
work then, okay? There's 9,000 people that worked on this game. That's why there's so many problems. Imagine how many emails and shit you have to go through to get through to it. Can you guess who is who? Uh, let me see. HC Hype Fita Feet Friday. <laughs> This is so relevant. Okay, thank you. It's <laughs> Feet Friday. Fita is Mala. There's a hundred percent. That's gotta be Mala. Oh my god, dude. They're both Leeby. Leeby! Audio made up 400. They're not good night, Dark Flame. 8,600 game developers. Dude, that actually kind of throws me for a loop. I swear it was 900. So there's 9,000 people working on this game for seven years. That's why there's so many problems with it. Because doing those, like, when there's a problem in the game, say, like, she says, hey, I don't like how this dungeon looks. Can we change the colors? She has to CC, like, fucking 900 people. Oh my god! Too many cooks in the kitchen? Yes, and they're all stepping over each other. There's, like, a senior cook, and then there's a senior senior cook. This is so much worse than I thought. I swear, I'm not even making this up. I genuinely thought I was 900 people. I thought that was a lot. Imagine how many different opinions. Yes! That's also a massive problem. Database sheer breakdown, 9,000 developers, 900 art and graphics were released, so 397, 475 were thanked for their contribution to the game's development. Holy shit. You think they get to have opinions? Probably not. I'm gonna be honest. Again, I feel like, again, I have to reemphasize, I feel like, as a gamer, I did not like the dungeon design for 90% of the uh, of the environments in Diablo 3. I thought the color design was washed out. This is a criticism, by the way, not attacking the person. I think the colors are washed out. Some of the abilities are all fucking overlapping each other. Sometimes I see shit on the ground that just, I think that's like mine and I step in and I die. I think the minions and the monsters also blend into the environment a lot. When you see Diablo 2, for example, and you see, um, uh, imps. The little implings in Diablo, you know what you're looking at. When I look at the imps, the fallen, I just, <sighs> how do I see it? Maybe there's an example here. They kind of blend in a lot with how the design choice was made, especially for the variants that they have. Who the fuck would think you were attacking the person right now? No, I'm just I'm just saying it out there again. Like some people do, and they think I'm like being overly critical. Like I love old Blizzard. I really do. How dare you attack them? Shut up. It's, uh, the trash mobs tend to blend together. Yes, I I completely, from the bottom of my heart, think that Diablo 2's design is the most superior uh, design out of all the Diablo series. I think they had that problem in Diablo 3. I think they had that problem in Diablo 4. And I think they didn't fix it. They tried to do the whole gritty, dark thing in um, Diablo 4, and they went too far, washed out the colors, and it it just looks like a mess to me. Yeah. When they will they use three colors, red, black, and gray, so a red black monster really fades into the scenery. It might also be a design limitation with um how pixels worked back in the day because of the art and the design that they had to use in Diablo 2. Like like this, look how zoomed in this is. I can distinctly tell what's going on. The cairn stones, the portal, and um uh, there's the rare freaking imp. And there's a bunch of fallen ones, right? You can clearly tell what's going on. Even as zoomed out as that. This is a bit more zoomed in. Here, that's easy. That's a golem. Those are chiefs, the chieftains of the fallen. There's a rare. Or no, actually, no, that's a skeleton. Like, it's easy to tell apart, but if you go on Diablo 4 gameplay. Here's a good example. I... It just, it doesn't seem cohesive to me. 
Like, where are the monsters? Like, I see the red bars above the head, but like, what? What is going on? I don't know. I don't know. Say what you want how cartoony Diablo 3 was, or at least D3 is actually stood out in comparison to D4. No, I agree. I don't think they were perfect. Again, I I like D3, but I, I don't think it was a masterpiece. Is this real? Yeah. Again. Like, what is this? They're so, like, the ghouls blend into the environment. I don't like it. The, the fireball, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but again, it's just, it, they all blend in. This is another example. This is unique enough. I, uh, this is a good design, but it also seems kind of washed out at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. Hi, original. Sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry, I'm so passionate and I... I just feel like it should just be better. Uh, что бесила в D3 и 4 играя за некроманта трупы, из которых ты делал скелетов, были отдельно от трупов мертвых врагов? Oh, was it really? Okay, so he just said, um, what made me mad in D3 and D4, I played a necromancer and the corpses, um, out of which you make skeletons were separate from the corpses of dead enemies and it was confusing and I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I had a dungeon where I could not find the last enemy for the life of me because they faded into the background. The only reason I knew they were there is because of a red dot on the map. That issue has stemmed from like D2, uh, D2, and the, that's the biggest one that I can name off the top of my head is that when you go into the den of evil and you can't find the last mob and you have to kill it, uh, that drove me insane and I really would hope that some game designers learn from that, but they still do it. They still make that thing where you have to kill the last minion and you have to go look for it and it's running away somewhere. It was always some fucking little fucking shitter imp fallen, but... Ah, it just made me vag. Anyway, let's get back on the video. I'm going on out. I'm, a, Before, I'm going on a range bench. More back towards range like binge. Diablo 2, the much darker style. Yeah. And they also emphasize non repetitive gameplay features. Yeah, so you never right. Feel like sure. You're always doing the same thing. Again, I can. Like, look at that. Look at that. He does not look distinct from the fucking mob itself. He's slamming his axes into the ground, and you cannot see it. That makes me so mad! Like, granted, the bitrate's really bad, obviously, because it's from YouTube, and I'm also streaming it, but holy shit, that makes me mad! I thought it was a rock? Was a little bit well, on March 1st, they released it a just video makes your showing eyes the gameplay bored. I don't for the beta early I thought access it was a rock. of Diablo 4, announcing that you could play the game on March 17th through March oh boy. 19th if you pre-purchase the $90 access. Digital Deluxe or $100 Ultimate Edition of the game. The $100 totally Ultimate that, Edition the gives you the Eyes advantage board? to play oh, yeah, up to four sure. days early over everyone else, the accelerated seasonal battle pass unlock, mounts, mm -hmm. cosmetics, emotes, and even rewards yep, for their other dollars. Blizzard games such as World of Warcraft, Diablo Immortal, and Diablo 3. By this point, it is very well known that Diablo okay. 4 was going to have a battle pass that was cosmetic only, and a big reward for buying this set of additions was a... <laughs> a small boost through the battle pass it's we important to note that the battle pass was not available until we the launch it. of season one which didn't come until a month and a half after the game's launch the early access weekend Thank for diablo 4 dude. arrived a lot of the gosh. game was in the hands of the public allowing you to go up to level 25. hold on i gotta ask chat this is there a tax on games in certain states it in america because i remember reading that from somewhere or one of my friends had to experience that so $90 on top of taxes. I don't live in a state like that, but I read that somewhere. There's taxes in mine? So you had to pay like 90 plus dollars for your ta for your game if you played it. That's insane, man. Tax in Canada too? Oh shit, man. Fuck that. Absolutely fuck that, man. 
This weekend was only Australia available has to players worse? who have pre-ordered the digital deluxe edition, and you can play as the barbarian, rogue. Or Are you asking if sales tax exists? No, I I know I know that some places have sales tax. I'm asking if certain states enforce it with games because I don't live in a place where I have to pay extra for an online purchase. But I remember my friend in New York said that you have to. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? I was like, oh, what do you mean? Sorcerer. It only allows you to play through Diablo 4's prologue in one zone, and that is Fractured Peaks. Once again, no end game testing. Yep, At first, no the servers game. were plagued with it's horrendous BS, times yeah, and error codes. A simple explanation is that there is a repeating cycle going on where play played for 10 minutes and forced off for no reason. Now I got a 45 minute queue. Great beta so far. It seems they think that $99 for early access thousands and thousands of players have paid for to get an unplayable game. Dude, I'm so glad I didn't pre-order and play this shit. I only pre-ordered the, the June one, but it's because I had to. Like, I was streaming. Players would sit in a sometimes over hour long queue, finally I get logged into sales the game, only no, then it's get not disconnected, and be put back in an even longer queue after about 5 to 10 minutes of playing. This continued through most of the night until Blizzard oh, put out a patch Joe! that seemingly fixed the problem. Angry Joe got fricked This up. angered many people because they spent additional money to play that said early access weekend, and it started to raise some eyebrows in the community. Stuck in Overall, though, now. from a gameplay perspective, people were relatively happy with Diablo 4 as a game so far. But of mm. course, there were concerns, and there were a few in particular that stood out to the community. And like a dagger coated in poison, issues that seemed- it's a little Warcraft art, I like that. never went away. Damn. Some of these include that there isn't anything in Diablo 4 that's redefining what an ARPG can be. Nope. Tedious grinds that you're forced to do and aren't even fun the first time, including Renown, Altars of Lilith, Waypoints, and instead of it being fun challenges, it was simply a Google search to find the low- I think it took me, like, because of how bad my ADD is, when I played D4 at launch and I was doing the Altars of Lilith, to do the entire continent, it took me like three days <laughs> because it was so hard to find sometimes or like I had to like nitpick and I didn't use the browser thing properly. I didn't have a login to track it. Location and run oh, around. Oh, it was and such a grind, man. The UI I across did it, the board though. needed work. Being forced to play online and having no offline mode, oh worried boy. player bases about server stability, and it felt like Diablo 4 wasn't created with the same heart as- My time in each zone took me an hour to do so. Yeah, um, one of my mods said it takes about an hour to do everything, and that's if you pinpoint and you have to do it, like, you go bam, 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 bam. Me, I'm streaming, I'm getting distracted, I have th this curse of ADD and I forget what I'm doing, and then I remember that I had to click an altar. I forget to click an altar, teleport away, it's like, oh. Diablo 1 and bah. 2 work. Little did they know, it only got much worse moving it's forward. not help. The open beta weekend arrived, allowing everybody openly to play the game, and all five classes up to level 25. Immediately, oh players are noticing the difference in power between the Druid and the Necromancer, and coming to the conclusion that classes nerfed. like the Barbarian and the Druid <laughs> lag behind significantly in yep. terms of kill speed, They're unlike so the other bad. classes leveling. The balance was- What was that thing? That number? Uh... <laughs> what was that number? Number 32? 32 damage? It was 32 damage. <laughs> so bad about the druid that means- 17. Oh yeah, it was 17 was damage. Laughing stock. For 17, 17 damage. damage. Oh, yeah. A... Oh my god. <laughs> He's so dead inside. I love it. <laughs> He was like... Seventeen damage. <laughs> so good, I love that face. Players feel as though He's that the game is missing inside, key features such as yeah. gem tab, skill loadouts, more bank storage, inventory filters, and more quality of life features. He better get into the whole loading up everyone's inventory thing too. That are widely seen across gaming. Between the issues with the early access and open beta weekends, players are starting to believe that the game is poorly developed and there is a lot of <laughs> fine tuning that needs to be done. Other than that, the base game of combat animations and stories seems yeah. good enough. Yeah, the inventory thing. After the open beta weekend, the official by Diablo the way. team releases the Into the End Game developer update video. Oh shit, look at that like to dislike ratio. Holy because crap. The official Diablo team releases the Into the End 12 
5k versus 17k man oh my god it hurts it's so bad <laughs> And so In game smelly man. update video breaking down everything the well, game you can't has see to the dislike ratio unless you install an extension game and developers made incredibly bold promises that were sadly never delivered upon brand new activities that provide meaningful progression no matter their huh? first style. there's going to never be an absence of something to do the paragon wars place where we like to have a I mean I don't think they were that innovative, but okay. Depth, a lot more customization, Meaningful progression, many more options sure. as you go. Over By the way, the cost of that shit was insane. In Diablo 4, and any one of them can become a nightmare dungeon. We later found out that this was simply not true, being that there was only roughly 20 nightmare dungeons in a rotation at a time, forcing you to do the same ones over and over again. Yeah, yeah. A few days later, the Diablo 4 team announces they are making significant changes to character classes, dungeon design, UI changes, and more. This leaves people- What was the game movie that kept re-uploading the trailers because it kept getting downloaded and bombed? Oh, that was Blizzard, wasn't it? They re-uploaded and unlisted that, like, a bunch of times. I forget what it was. I'm memory-holing. <gasps> it was reforged? Was it really? Yeah, I think so. I remember this. Yeah, they re-uploaded and unlisted and relisted it like a bunch of times because people kept uh, 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 review bombing it. Not review bombing, but like uh, dislike bombing it, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Reforged didn't remind me, man. I was so excited for that, but then they just... Poopied all over it, man. People it was very so excited sad. that the developers are listening to player feedback and are excited for the oh future. Oh boy, we're so the last excited. few months before launch, the Diablo 4 developers assure us that they're going back to their roots of Diablo. Like, I can just tell what's going on here. I don't know what it is. I miss Diablo. I miss Diablo. <laughs> 2. Well, the initial direction <laughs> was kid, Diablo 2. The fantasy of a dark, gothic, medieval world. Darker and I totally and understand where they're coming from. We wanted to bring Diablo 4 artistically more back towards, like, the did but the design wasn't that great they made a lot of mistakes Diablo two. have you heard this story before is this something that blizzard yep. is doing once again to tug on milking our nostalgia? your nostalgia is going to repeat itself like milking your balls Forged, overwatch and world of warcraft can't Classic. hand them over the only thing dark left to do AK now more brown well to be fair they did make it more violent there was more blood there was more gore i'll give them that but again washed out <laughs> they say is true milking my heart your bowl day. before you know it the internet is absolutely slammed with diablo 4 marketing how much did that cost by the way this billboard in new york <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this cost like twenty thousand dollars a few million Oh, wait, yeah, no, I think I remember. Yeah, it was a few million, not a couple of thousand. I think smaller billboards cost a couple of thousand. Yeah, just like the 3D ones. Whether it be the KFC collaboration. <laughs> Yo, I actually got one of these and then I never redeemed the code. I got a KFC thing. One of my viewers bought me, uh, well, told me to go specifically get the KFC thing. I got the code and I just tossed it out because the fucking uh, weapon transmogs were dog shit. I tossed that shit in the bin. The non-stop Megan Fox promotions, relaunch dinner parties with big names in the gaming industry, the Ooh. Diablo 4 cathedral painting in France, the Halsey Diablo 4 song, and even a launch live action trailer. They also wow, announced the Diablo 4 hardcore leveling competition. Oh my god, don't get me started on this. I'm about to... Not the KFC call up. Yes, I bought one. I did. I ate KFC for the first time in like three years because of that. Yes, all that marketing money absolutely in the garbage. Nobody cares. Yeah, they got Megan Fox with her beautiful booba. How did that lovely cop turn out? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Totally didn't get dumpstered. How was it? Did you have a near-death experience? No, I was fine. I didn't. I, I I had a pretty good KFC little burger. I haven't had KFC in like three or four years, and I bought it just as a joke. I took a screenshot uh, of the drink because it came with like a special Diablo 4 drink, and I was like, oh, this is cool. Like, yeah, and I ate it, and it was good.
We're the first 1,000 users to reach level 100 on hardcore. This was a scam, by the way. to have their battle tag engraved on a physical statue of Lilith on the Blizzard campus. Blizzard held mm -hmm. nothing back in wanting all eyes of the world on oh, Diablo Oh, she's so hot, 4, huh? And they knew this launch was going to be a big oh, deal boy! for them. It was either going to make or break the company moving forward, and they were ready to show the world what they had in Diablo The cinematic 4. was cool. At least, that's what we thought. On June 1st of 2023, the early Google access sells. launch of Diablo 4 finally arrived. It doesn't matter too much how amazing a game is or even how well received it is. Shareholders, executives, and accountants want to know how well a game is selling. Yeah. They revealed that in just five days, sales of Diablo- $660 million in revenue since launch. Diablo Holy. 4 had surpassed $666 million in revenue, estimating nearly 10 million game copies sold not even including the additional microtransactions so heavily apparent inside the game. Ooh. In corporate eyes... And you want to know the worst part? Those cosmetics suck ass, man. Diablo 4 was booming, and it was nothing short of a monumental success. It became officially Blizzard's fastest-selling game of, the of beast. all time. I mean, so, that was intentional. Activision Blizzard was back on top. The game is about right? Diablo, so well, it makes that sense. statement couldn't have been more untrue. Shortly after launch, the internet was flooded with reviews about Diablo Riker, 4. The early game Asmund, being to good from a gameplay perspective quickly dissipated as oh, poor Quinn, man. As people headed into the end game. Because oh, the truth is, Diablo 4 oh, had no innovation and nothing truly creative toward the ARP. Diablo 4 endgame is boring, chat. Trash and brainless. Shills go away. Endgame is literally Nightmare Dungeons, Unga Punga Repeat 100, Hell Ties Tree of Whispers, Unga Punga Repeat Times 100, World Boss, pretty much once a day for you as a player, a 5 minute Zerg Fest fight. You know what the worst part? Even though it sounds so angy, it's still true. Asma said the game was for casuals. It's not even for casuals, you wanna know why? Because past 60, the grind is actually unreal. The grind from 60 to 100 was fucking absurd. Genre. And Blizzard simply took no risks. Yeah, Tree they of did. Whispers are the same thing as bounties from Diablo 3. They have yep. the same generic gambling systems. Yep. Paragon boards are just stolen content from Path of, from Path of Exile. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're somehow less interesting, Exile actually. Vulcan. Nightmare dungeons are just rifts from Diablo 3. Yep. The new free choice leveling is the same thing as Diablo 3's adventure yep. mode. Nothing here was brand new or innovative. It was yep. the same reused and recycled content, and fans were simply bored of it within a few weeks' time. The yep. most common mistake we see from games with lack of endgame presence is they make the grind to max level longer, so it gives them time to come up with something new. New World was egregious for that, too, man. Getting to 40 was actually bad. Lord of the Rings Online? Dude, the grind to max level was insane in Lord of the Rings. I played that for a bit, by the what way. What did Blizzard it's do? Terrible. Exactly just that. One by one, Haters. they were going across the board and nerfing dungeon farms to permit anyone from leveling too quickly. <laughs> from specific dungeons. And when that wasn't enough, no they completely power nerfed leveling, elite mob density across the board. One of the oh most fun God, aspects dude. of the game. Instead of buffing hold the lackluster shit, dungeons that were boring and slow, they nerfed the fun ones. They continued mm -hmm. to do this with nearly everything in the game moving forward. Build diversity was the same result. Across all classes, you could see a clear-cut pattern in people using the same exact... <laughs> builds over and over again instead of buffing weak abilities to bring them in line with the strong ones they simply nerfed the abilities that were performing too well making everything feel boring uh... and with the price of recost and the non-existence of skill loadouts or a dual specialization system in play it was too risky to constantly be testing out and theory crafting new builds it was too yep. tedious to respec hundreds of paragon boards. i still don't understand this i was looking for a reset all button in my paragon board because i was trying out between uh, Blizzard build, um, uh, fire build, and, uh, an ice shard build, which was fucking boring as shit. There wasn't a fucking reset all button when I played. I don't know if it still is, they actually added that in or what, but it's, it wasn't there. I don't understand why. Waste your time mechanic? Yep. Yeah, there wasn't a reset all button. This took hundreds of clicks, by the way. 
This is all like it was three, four boards at a time. Yet did the Bible. Really? Oh my god. That's insane. One by one and flat out too expensive. <laughs> Having to grind out yeah, countless and expensive legendary on top aspects, of that. uniques, and perfect affix rolls on every piece of gear was something that took too much time. Yep. By this time, players were reaching level 65 plus, and the level pacing drastically slowed down, and so did the excitement of good loot Ask me how I know. Well. So the yep, 80. Dude, I got to 82 and I just couldn't do it anymore. That reset button was coming season 3. Yeah, uh, the jewel, jewels stash tab, the gem stash tab is coming in season 5. Problem with Diablo 4 is that after you spend about 80 hours into the game, all of the gear upgrades that you can get are, are so, so minimal, minimalistic. There's nothing yep. else to do. So the time it took to level vastly increased, and the rewards yep. and purpose for leveling became so much smaller. So it's boring. It's very obvious man. to everybody now that Diablo 9k devs that can't even make a fun game. Well, the mind-blowing thing is, is I don't think it's even the devs' fault at this point. It's that it's passed through so many hands that it's just impossible. Diablo 4 Literally impossible. no end game, and it was There's no voice, you know? There's the no... minor end game testing mixed with the constant changing of development teams there's no needle and major hole to lack thread of through there's nothing and workplace professionalism was finally starting to take its toll during this time the in-game cash shop is being flooded with skins and cosmetic options available for purchase even some cases where the cosmetic armor <laughs> bought with real money would be bugged and not even appear on your Wait, what is fucking disappearing it's bugged Uh, я докачал рога до 90 и понял, что лучше я побью мобов в БДО. Так, yes, in a BDO you will get more satisfaction because the combat is more interesting than fucking Diablo 4. So what he said was, um, I got my rogue to 90 and I got to the point where I realized that it would be probably be more fun to play a BDO. Unironically true because at least BDO combat is fun no matter what class you play. <laughs> Even though it's pay to win trash game character the hardcore player based Ooh. drama is at an all time high with players dying constantly to server instability oh, disconnects yeah. and things being hardcore, by the out way. of their control through bugs and poor optimization of the hell game. yeah Even imagine more... you die like that on hardcore to some bug by the way gotta wonder should games be grindy what even is grind in gaming i got news for you everything is a grind it's just that it's disguise is not a grind Leveling to 1 through 60 on classic World of Warcraft without even doing the hardcore thing is a grind. It's just you have usually fun doing it, especially when the game was fresh, when you didn't know anything about it. You are excited to see what the next thing is. Oh, I'm getting this ability at level 10. I'm so excited. You look up ThoughtBot. You're typing into your game, uh, into your web browser. You're like, oh my god, I'm getting this. Oh, that's awesome. I get this next talent point. You don't realize it, and that's the illusion of the game. Thaba? Yeah, I'm saying that like, you know, in 2004 when you're a little baby, you know, playing that game. It no longer becomes a grind when it's fun. Exactly! You have the delusion. The carrot on the stick doesn't exist in front of your face and you're just playing the game for fun. Yeah. Even BDO to an extent, I could overlook the grinding because I had fun playing my classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, grindy, главное цель для чего ты фармишь? Yes, another good point. When you make the grind, uh, there is a very important thing that you have to remember is that there has to be a point to the grind that you're doing. Like you're farming towards something. I'm grinding my level. I'm grinding this item. Even in BDO, you grind a certain set of mobs and you get that drop and you're like, oh yeah, shit, that was awesome. And you get that dopamine hit. There was no dopamine hit in Diablo 4. There wasn't. That's why First, people to quit. To confirm your place as a winner in the race, you had to tweet the Diablo Twitter account oh, in yeah, Diablo this 4. Debacle. Hashtag Holy shit. your full battle net and battle tag. And mm -hmm. lastly, a picture proving you reached level 100. <laughs> the amateur middle school system of confirming a challenge so important that hundreds of thousands of people are participating in oh, yeah. ends up being a massive mistake and they make- Still not on the list even though Asmongold Gal literally shouted me out and we have the video. Come on, Blizz. Dude, that's insane. Oh yeah, it was Digi- Oh my god, I remember watching this guy play Lost Ark, dude. He was one of the best paladins? I forget what his class was, but he played a class. And I remember watching him play. PvP paladin? Yeah! He was a PvP paladin, and he got- 
he got into the hardcore and he got fricked. Jamie, why'd you pick Aldor? Exactly. And choices too. Those matter too. Uh, я терпеть не могу без мобов, без его за 8 лет, но даже там я бью, чтобы поддерживать гиры время от времени. But the important thing is, do you have fun? Yeah, exactly. There's no point because the upgrades you get are non-existent. Mm -hmm. Make errors announcing the wrong winners. This showed a major lack of effort and care in yep. a multi-billion dollar Call the company. Cheater. And what He's not a cheater. He's like the nicest guy I know. Like, when I played Lost Ark, he was really, really nice. Getting called a cheater? Oh my god, that's so sad. Once again, amateur oh, or brand new developers making hear, huge mistakes. Skating by and doing things just good enough once again. There were even several websites out there that tracked the progress of the hardcore characters oh with having God, zero budget. Oh my God, they did it for them and they so couldn't sure do it? it? Blizzard could have done it themselves. Oh it became too God. difficult Four to manage storage on there too. inside of a full loot ARPG game. Between gems, legendaries, and aspects, rare items, uniques, inventory was quickly flooded within minutes of grinding. We no more stash space now! That's pathetic. Yeah, the fact that they made a website for blizzard and keeping track of it instead of them doing it themselves is insane to me out a single no, dungeon, i'm not surprised and players demanded no! more room for their other characters when blizzard finally responded <laughs> over a month space. later they stated no! they couldn't add more because it creates a lot of memory overhead when you see another player in game you load them and their entire stash filled with all of them <laughs> Dude, I remember, oh my god, I'm holding in a lot of, uh, I'm holding my bladder and I can't stop laughing at this shit. Why are you fucking loading in the player's stash when you play the game mode? <laughs> Go piss woman, no man, I can't, I gotta finish this video. <laughs> Five more minutes. <laughs> it's so stupid. This is what teams are working on diligently to improve that so we can have more ASAP. Dude, that is so fried. That is so spaghetti code fried. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh my god, this, that was so funny Things when like I read it. a gem it. tab, leaderboards, a gem stash tab. tabs, loot filters, ability loadouts, all announced to be Insane, added in future man. expansions, sometimes as far as six months to a year from now. Diablo 2 Resurrect is more stash paced because Diablo 2 had stash stash stays. Oh my god, I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> I can't say it! <laughs> How the fuck does RuneScape banks work? Yo, imagine you load into a world and everyone's stash, uh, their bank space get, uh, <laughs> get... <laughs> Get loaded in for you and make your game lag. <laughs> I'm being an anger. One month yeah. after the game launches, they hosted a developer live stream, bringing us all some crucial updates oh to try boy. and calm the community down. To kick off the show, they gave us a 30 minute segment on their new Diablo Immortal class, The Blood Knight. Oh my god, who the fuck cares, man? Such a sick design, too, the Blood Knight. Yeah, go piss yourself, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're putting our efforts into Diablo Memorial, yep. And the whole lore behind would... the mobile game right now. They also so... finally showed off the Battle Pass monetization and the oh, seasonal boy! blessings that Thank are implemented you. to help us quickly gain crafting material. Hold the fuck up. I didn't know about this. This is in Diablo 4? Boost the chance of rare materials from salvage. Da. <laughs> and experience points more efficiently. This is in oh regard boy. to having us create whole new characters inside of seasonal realms. And believe it or not, those completely back uh, separating eternal and seasonal. Of course, how could I forget that? No, no, at the Bisplatni. Yeah, my ass is Bisplatni too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, um, yeah, and it's fr and it's quote unquote free, right? And my ass is also a free, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> Fire as well. 
When you spent smoldering ash to increase the amount of gold or materials that you would gain, there was because a bug was that so would scarce. increase the amount of costs of everything as well by the Wait, same what? exact Wait, what? Oh yeah, I remember this. So it became nothing but an illusion of choice. Mm -hmm. And to even acquire all of your smoldering ash, you actually had to obtain <laughs> max level to acquire them all, leaving you a system oh that is God. nothing but broken and contradictory. Ooh. Only half of your renown carried over, and half Free of the ass. brand new content yeah. and class oh, changes that's what I mean, one was locked My into the seasonal sweet. realms and was forbidden Mine. on the eternal realms. Meaning that if you wanted all of these brand new changes and updates, you had to start all over and create a whole new character. Smoldering ass. Yes, it's smoldering ass. Five dollars? No, it ain't free. I ain't never show my ass. Bitch. <laughs> Don't the thefts of calculators, dude? They literally couldn't do math before putting into the game. It actually owns. Is it worth even trying D4? Ah. Uh... I could give it a go for free. You know what? For free, I could tell you to just try the game and see how it is. Like, if you are bored and you have nothing else to play and you can get play the game for free, I'd say give it a go. Yes, if it's free, sure, go for it. Because it's not a bad game up until, like, level 50 or 60. Are you sure I have all the platinum in the purchase and you don't buy anything in the shop? Ah, I see. 50 is when you really hit a wall? Yeah. The longer you play, the worse it gets. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was aiming to hit level 100 before I stopped streaming D4 and I literally could not do it. I ran out of mental, like... Like, I couldn't do it anymore. I logged in and I was like, I can't do this, chat. I I'm exhausted. It's just the same fucking shit. And I love grinding games. I have fucking 6,000 hours on BDO. Granted, a lot of it was AFK. But still, let's just reduce that by at least, like, 2,000 hours. That's still 4,000 hours of just grinding and playing the game and running around and doing monotonous shit. It's strenuously painful. Mm-hmm. You were then forced to go on to seasonal realms, and players were quickly flooded yep, with additional realm. monetization. Look at that. Separating they even the player coincidentally base. made the paid accelerated battle pass button the largest icon and glow red yep. on the homepage. They also Ooh, coincidentally the didn't add a confirmation button, so that if you accidentally clicked it, you spent your money without any warning. Bugs even uh -huh. went rampant through Season 1, with people having the ability Duping. to trade hundreds of millions of gold, legendaries, and even unique items between- You can trade items from Eternal to Seasons. Oh my god. Imagine D2 had that, dude. That would be game-breaking, man. 8,000 devs, by the way. Yeah. 8,000 devs. One shitty game. Great. Great combo. The eternal and seasonal realms completely destroying hard earned players. Imagine 3 3 had By that. This yeah, point, people would be fucking were at freaking their out. Metacritic oh, scores plummeted, and the population slowly dwindled that down. That would have been wild. Yeah, D3 and D2, people would freak the launched. fuck out over it. And with it. the final nail in the coffin, Larian Studios released Baldur's Gate 3 on August yep. 3rd of 2023. People Easily had enough. being the front runner for the game of the year, it knocked Diablo 4 out. The game had longer replayability, no egregious monetization, good developers, better RPG aspects, innovative design with stable servers and a real character creator, and gameplay sections with freedom of choice throughout your entire playthrough. Well, you're comparing apples to oranges, but I understand what he's talking about. I'm saying Clarion did have a flaw with the last act. It had a lot of bugs in it. It was a little bit unfinished, but overall... Oh, fantastic game. If, it, if Act 3 was amazing and flawless and had no bugs in it that I encountered anyway, would have been a 10 out of 10. But for now, it's a 9 out of 10. Maybe they'll fix some stuff and I'll play it again. But, you know. Most of these things, Blizzard Page used to take pride in. Amazing. But those days are now over. A game that just a few months ago had a population of almost 7 million concurrent active players at once has now lost more than 99% of its total population it's big and is shrinking more and head. more by the day. So what was no, the exact cause of Diablo 4's no. failure? Was it the constant change in development teams before launch day? 
Everything. The loss of key figures within the company due to the allegations and walkouts. Developers Everything disliking the game the they're above. creating and the increased malice between leaders and company team members? Was it the constant delays, the microtransactions being forced onto players, or is it just the simple fact that Blizzard has completely lost its touch and the era yeah, of this once everything. king of kings is now over? No one really knows exactly, but one thing is for sure. Well, actually, I do know exactly why, but uh huh. <laughs> I could go on another 20 minute tangent, but I won't. Um, if you ever want to kill your stream, just do a 24 hour D4 stream. Yeah, that'll be really amazing. Thank you, Polter. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure Blizzard couldn't care less. They made Gigabank off the IP. How many billion dollars did they make off of this again? Like $4 billion? Or was it 400 million dollars? I can't remember. No game in history has had almost 7 million concurrent active players at one time, and within a couple months, get reduced down to less than 40,000 active players throughout the entire I think it was already game. dying off by a like a 99. month. A 99.4% loss in player base count. Yep. This is why Diablo 4 is the biggest disappointment in recent gaming history. Yep. Hopefully heading into 2024, they can bring loads of improvements into the game. <laughs> I'll find some copium, but sure. Amen. Maybe eh. flip the script on this whole situation. Go. Go. Maybe, just maybe, we can have Go. a solid ARPG to play. But just remember, I will the new play Path of Exile too before is I on play its D4 way, again. I'm and it be can very well be too late. Have you played Diablo 4? What are yep. your thoughts and feelings? It's stinky. What do you think is the biggest mistake they made? Everything. Let me know in the comment section below. I want to give another massive thank you to our YouTube They're channel members. They're just gonna members abandon the game, the just like Ghoul said. To keep this dream alive. You all oh, allow me to create longer, video. more Great fulfilling video. content for you like this one. I yes, really love yes, making yes. content like this, and if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to like, Ooh. leave a comment, or even share the video, as I would love to bring you all more content like this in the future. There's no the very end. They're gonna keep this game alive until eventually there's like a hundred people playing, and it's not profitable anymore. That's what I think will happen. Or, excuse me, they make a massive turnaround in like a season or two. Great video, by the way. Clap goes all around. Very, very nice. Brought a lot of things to light that I didn't even know about. D2, 3 might have more active players. D2 and 3 combined have more players active playing and streaming D D4. The game made a billion dollars. I don't think they're going to ban it so easily. Try and salvage it, but yeah. Uh, I wouldn't even say that Diablo and Baldur's Gate are a bad comparison. If you think about it, Diablo have had multiple endings. If we, as the player base, had the choice to actually design which side we want to play, yeah. But I'm saying they're apples and oranges because one of them is a D and D and a D and D inspired, or rather, it is a D and D game RPG, and the other one is a ARPG that is not story oriented, like Diablo two and. One and two, like, they had a story, but it's like, it's not really a story. You're not playing for the story. For Baldur's Gate, you do play for the story, and it's, it's different. I, I'm not trying to disparage the comparison. I'm trying to say that you're it's just a little bit different. Imagine D4 would trash Blizzard even more. They talk so much about being a live service that would somehow plummet even lower. Dude, they're already doing that for um, Overwatch, though. Like, let's be real. Yeah, they're already doing that for Overwatch. They abandoned the PvE. They said, we're never doing it. It's not that they said, we're going to eventually add Overwatch uh, PvE. They said, no, we're not adding shit. Yeah. They're not adding it. There's no more PvE. That's it. Soon it'll be Microsoft's problem. They've been talking about the merger for like... Eight months now, I think. Dude, it's been so long. Maybe even longer than that. I might not remember, dude. Building up different factions could lead to some engaging events. Well, that's not... I can't... Okay, I, I can see where you're coming from. Um, Again, I think innovation is not something Blizzard can do anymore. They're gone. It's done. Innovation is not something that Blizzard seeks anymore they don't how is that overwatch 2 pv thing not false advertising i don't know man i really don't i'm not a lawyer 
<laughs> I'm not a lawyer, Fox, man. I don't know. I don't know how they get away with it. I don't know how you can sell a game, rebranded, put in the same skins in the game behind a paywall instead of loot boxes and using currencies. I think you can still buy them with currencies, but the currencies are really, really bad. Um, I don't know how they do it. I genuinely don't. That's so cringe. I don't know how. I, I... Like, I love some of the people that still play Overwatch 2 and stuff, like... Like, I don't... There are a few people in my chat who love playing Overwatch 2, and I just... I don't get it. I, I genuinely don't get it. Maybe it's because I played Overwatch 1 to death, like, up to Season 4. Overwatch 2 was fine for three seasons. I played Overwatch 1, it's just the same shit to me. I just don't care. Because I'm cracked at it? Dude, who gives a fuck if you're cracked at it? It's... It's the game, the same game from seven years ago and the PvE cost $40. How much does the PvE cost again? It's like 30 or $40 to play the game. It's not even free. Mommies only play Overwatch 2 just because we don't have a lot of games we can play together. Yeah, it is free. Granted, I, I understand. It's just that some people are so, like, set on playing it because... They think there's going to be some long-term thing for it. $15 for missions? Yeah, $15. Excuse me, it's not 30 but still $15 dues. Overwatch 2 was a cash grab. Hold on, let me scroll up. Uh, they literally delisted Overwatch 1 to force people to play Overwatch 2 like a company does that a way that's Blizzard. I mean, D3 is still up. Uh... Diablo 3 is still up. Diablo 2 is still up. People still play that. It was just a cheap move, and... Warcraft 3 is not. Okay, good point, yeah. Warcraft 3 Reforged is still, like, you have to go around to, like... Yeah, Warcraft 3 Reforged is, yeah. I love Warcraft so much, but shit. Wait for the D2 remaster? D2 OG will be gone? Buddy, D2 remaster's already up, huh? Yeah, still, people still play D2. Huh? <laughs> I, I don't know if, if I'm understanding you correctly. D2 reforged? Are we talking about Diablo? Diablo 2 Resurrected was a good game. Or is a good game. I love it. I, I'm not sure if I'm... Yeah, it's not. D2 Resurrected not a remaster? It is. That's why I'm confused. You guys are like, hey, wait until D2 remaster. I'm like, it's already out, and they didn't replace it. Yeah, I'm confused, but... Anyway, I love D2R. I was really scared they were going to shit it up, but they didn't. They actually made a good game, and they made some improvements, and it's really nice. Didn't they promise that Overwatch players can play with Overwatch 2? You can! I ha I can play Overwatch 1. I mean 2, but Overwatch 1 is gone. What about the second remaster? No, thank you. You guys generally confuse me with this D2R takes. The game is out and has replaced D2. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. He's just typing haha -ha, and I'm I'm like, what? Hey, Duck Sauce, like, do you, do you want to elaborate? I don't understand. You said, wait for the D2 remaster. D2 OG will be gone. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I, I, I just want to understand, like, what, what that was. Remastered and reforged. <laughs> I'm losing my marbles, man. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, huh? I was like, are we talking about uh, Destiny 2? Yeah. <laughs> what happens when you keep talking about Blizzard? I know. I am zooted out. I also am holding on a lot of pain. Nada vidge to remaster D4 of so is private. No, sir said we just gotta wait for D4 remaster. <laughs> Go piss, girl. Okay, I will piss. D is D. I learned something. Yes, D4 is D4D. 
Uh, D2 got me confused. There's so many shortened hand D games. Okay, you mixed them up. No, okay, so you were talking about Destiny 2. I was like, there's no, they already have this Diablo 2. No, I understand the joke now. You were talking about Destiny. Anyway, chat, you behave yourself. I gotta fucking be so bad. You have no idea. Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Fuck the fucking shit on calm piss myself. Fuck 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 piss 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 piss